How do I? I'm uh, David Bez and I'm an artist. Uh, but here we are in uh, Cheshire Art Agencies uh, with a selection of the paintings. Today you created a whole series of Stoke-on-Trent paintings for your latest exhibition that's going to be held at Trent Art. Can you tell us about these paintings and the influences um, that were there that, that helped you to create that series? Okay. Well, there was um, quite a, a varied selection of, of work, so there's, there's things which are um, purely about Stoke on Trent, the industrial heritage of the place, um, there's landscapes, um, and there's more kind of um, imaginative works as well. So there's a, a kind of broad breadth of different stuff. People tend to know you for uh, one genre or another. You know, you talked about your landscapes, and there's more fun fantastical work as well, isn't there? Yeah. Um, do, you just, do you find you get a little bit pigeonholed into one or the other, or people just know you for that one thing and they see you for doing that? It can be. I mean, there's sometimes when the, if certain galleries, you know, show particular things, then people think that's that's all you do. Um, but there is has been occasion when, you know, people have seen that I do other things as well. So it's quite nice to see the variety and the... Oh, yeah. And, and the influences yeah, because sometimes I think things do inform other other works, you know, so there, there may be something that I maybe do in a more abstract way, but then I may be able to incorporate that more into the industrial landscapes. And your latest work, Murmurations, um, that's something that you've only just started working on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit more about where that all came from. And... It was just that fascination with birds flying in the sky and making all these nice patterns. It, it kind of came from just liking a look of, of birds in the sky, making all these kind of pretty patterns. And so I decided to kind of to do something along, uh, explore that avenue. Um, but there was an aspect of it which sort of started to get into a more kind of abstract territory as well. And does that affect other work? Oh yeah, I think all the whole time that sometimes I'm re-evaluating different things uh, and that, that can go on to inform other aspects of the work. The, the series of the, the North Staffordshire work that you produced, you've got quite a long history with North Staffordshire and producing those gritty images, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. There was, uh, I, you know, I've painted quite a lot of, of that kind of scenery and generally kind of northern gritty kind of images, northern scenes, shipbuilding, you know, anything to do with that kind of lost heritage, I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that was like another aspect, but obviously specific to a particular region. I said, yeah, then in the middle of that, because it was just so nice when you said about the lost heritage. I mean, this is uh, one of the images that's um, uh, for the exhibition which is on the cover of the uh, private view ticket. Um, it's, it's a scene of, of Stoke, um, one of the kind of more panoramic landscapes, showing its grittiness. So the, the exhibition mid-May in, uh, in North Staffordshire, is it the first exhibition for a while in that area? Um, it's been for quite a while, yeah. A uh, year or so, I would say, something like that. Yeah, this is one of my latest pieces called Beach Constellation. Um, it's kind of focusing on um, a more kind of dark romanticism. The, the technique used is uh, using uh, no more nails as, as a, a texturising kind of uh, ground. And then there's more kind of abstracted elements coming into play. Um, there's, uh, I, I, I'm quite interested in the idea of having happy accidents sometimes, so uh, a lot of times I just threw quite a lot of paint at it to see what would happen. Okay, so tell us about the work that you really, really enjoy doing. Well, it's a um, more kind of personal work, um, and it tends to be uh, slightly uh, more of a different kind of tangent from the rest of them. The, the other paintings, like mills <clears throat> and landscapes, tend to be a bit more representational. Um, the other work that I do is a bit more abstract, uh, a bit more challenging, let's say. Okay, Dave, so tell us about this, your, your favourite piece of work. Um, 
this is um, more kind of my uh, personal work. Uh, it's called uh, Human Alchemy, and it focuses on a more kind of um, things in a state of flux, constantly evolving, constantly changing. I would say that is the main thematic uh, aspect which runs through my own personal work. Uh, come down to the gallery um, on the 17th of May at 6 o'clock. You can meet me, have a chat, and uh, I'll be a bit of free face. See you there.